Good morning, good people. Joy here from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I am not going to do a video review today. I plan to pick up a topic. I just want to talk about it randomly. So here's the topic, longevity. So this is a big uh, issue for many of us, right? As a fraghead or fragrance user, even if you're new or old, I believe most of the people, they are looking to buy a fragrance. At least I know majority of us, we want something of a performer. We don't want to buy weak fragrances that smell nice perhaps, but that doesn't perform. It's a no-no for many of us, right? Uh, if I say us, it includes me, but uh, at this point, I really believe I changed a little bit. I used to be like that when I started my uh, journey at an uh, you know, early stage. So now, what is longevity? Uh, longevity is something like the length of time or amount of time uh, your fragrance will last on you, on your clothes, on your skin, wherever the case is, or your hair, or, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. You know, you can spray anywhere else that I'm not aware of, <laughs> but, you know. So the time you spray the fragrance, a cologne, let's say you pick up a cologne and spray it, right? And then until how long you can detect it on your skin to your nose. At one point, it will be totally gone. And then you say, okay, it lasted on me, let's say, part of five, six hours. Okay. So you'd see different weather conditions, different countries, and see whatever uh, the situation may be. And that, that's how you see longevity. Longevity is a very, very subjective matter. I tell you this, this is why I, it may, the whole uh, discussions may seem like it's a useless, uh, very simple discussion, but I think it's a complex one. Many people, they in Bangladesh, they tell me, bro, all these fragrances that you use and then you know, perhaps you took a decan from, it's not really working on me and the longevity sucks. Some people told me Sauvage longevity sucks. Some told me uh, some beast mode of my fragrances, ultra male didn't last on them. So what might be those reasons, you know? So let me tell you, uh, starting from that point, longevity issue, it's a very subjective matter. Longevity means uh, it, it depends on your weather conditions, which country you're in, your skin chemistry, like is it uh, your skin like eats up all your fragrances, you know, you have that sort of uh, dry skin or you have oily skin that holds your fragrance much longer than others. Usually my experience is I see women, they hold the fragrance much better. They last on them like, you know, uh, my girl, she would wear Dior Sauvage, I would wear Dior Sauvage, <clears throat> excuse me. Dior Sauvage will last on me a good solid time, six, seven hours, I can detect it nicely. It's there, I know it's there. Uh, you can get a nice aura and then after that people can smell it, I can't. But she wears that. That fragrance will last on her like 12 hours straight and she'll be like, I woke up, woke up you know, I can, I can smell it pretty prominent. So you see different people, <coughs> excuse me, different skin condition, skin type, the whole fragrances. So it's not going to be like a ideal uh, standard longevity. Like let's say if someone say, I say I got from a fragrance five hours, it's not going to be like uh, same case for you more m m for sure because you can either get less or you can get more you can get because whatever fragrance work with you you're lucky with that fragrance you know it it's like finding the right partner in life you know you have to be very lucky and you have to find the right chemistry for you that works with you uh, I actually these days do not care for longevity that much because I understand one thing you know if you wear fragrance more and more let's say you have a small little sample or a decant okay and you wear it like you have like let's say a 0.5 mil, right, of a fragrance or one mil. And you worry, you know, like a small, small prayer. I have like a few samples here right with me. I, I collect samples, I buy them, and I review them. You saw my sample reviews. Some of them are very expensive, right? I do spend a lot of money in getting samples, you know, because I want to test it first. So if I like it, I buy the full bottle. But I know one thing, you know, sample sometimes, you know, it works two ways. Sometimes some samples just made me buy some fragrance, I tell you these fragrances right here you know i tell you just two examples okay <laughs> this is two of my favorite fragrances okay woody fragrances one is this squared he wood one is rocky mountain wood both of these fragrances are awesome beautiful fragrances and i had the dream that i was gonna buy this fragrance just for the bottle and the fragrance itself someday because i had a small sample and the more i smell the sample and then i wore it like once in a while i used to crave for the fragrance i'm like oh man you know that fragrance is so nice another fragrance i bought uh, that kind of scenario was this one, Prada Amber. Where did I keep my Prada Amber? Um, yeah, here. I made a mistake of buying a small bottle here. This fragrance I treasure like anything. It's a beautiful juice. I used to have the small sample. I think I have it somewhere else. When it ran out, it was a depth sample. When it ran out, I immediately felt like I need this fragrance. Look at the juice color. Look at the smell. It's stunning. And it made me buy it. And every single time I sniff this fragrance, I'm so grateful that I got this fragrance, even a small one. 
I'll buy a bigger bottle because this is so beautiful, okay? So yes, that's one way. Another way is sometimes you wear a sample and you're like, nah, you're too, you're too judgmental. You're nah, it didn't work with me. It sucks. That fragrance sucks. You know, it sucks balls. <laughs> you, you, some of you do that, you know, like uh, bright neroli, you know, like very bright neroli. You know, many of you told me, this fragrance sucks, you know. <laughs> Does this fragrance suck? I don't think so. This is a beautiful little gem here. But you have to understand, you have to go through that, uh, I think, experience and read a lot, see a lot of reviews. I do that. I do watch a lot of reviews of my favorite reviewers, five or six reviews I watch at least. And then I crave for it, you know, I read on it. I'm like, I read the comments, people who bought it, what is their experience? Because I know who are telling the truth. And then when I see the reviews, it kind of helps me. You know, sometimes I feel that part of the juice color, part of the bottle got me intrigued. Recent bottle, I'd say, this is Bulgari Black. I was so yes, no, yes, no with this because it's not known to be a very good performer of a fragrance. Even compared to this, Midnight in Paris lasts a much longer time. It's very identical, similar kind of fragrance, but I think there are differences. I will review it and I'll tell you. I just got that for that bottle. I got it for my favorite uh, person in the fragrance community, Pep. He's the Sentinel. His channel is called Sentinel. Sentinel. He's from Australia. Very good friend of mine. Very good brother. Very handsome guy. He said this is this this means a lot. This this fragrance episode I'm going to dedicate to him. I tell you. So he said this is one of his most favorite fragrances. I was like, why is this his favorite? You know, you start thinking of shit. You know, like yeah, thinking about shit. Like yeah, why 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 does he treasure it so much? Then you see Versace Dreamer. <laughs> I'm giving examples. I saw Mark reviewing it. The way he said, look at the beautiful bottle. It's like the, the bottle is just stunning. And it's like that, that the dreamer feel, dreamy feel. So back in the days, you see some reviews. And you, you just immediately, like, not fall for it. But you start having that thing in the back of your head. So once you have your thing in the back of your head, it works like a virus. You'll buy either 10, 15 fragrances like that. And end up buying the same one in the end. But after buying a lot of similar fragrances. Like, like clones or stuff, you know. So in the end, I think longevity is an important issue because outdoors, if you let's say outdoors, most of the time, if you do not smell good, there's no point of buying a fragrance to many, right? If you, if you don't smell shit, you know, like and you go out and you'll be very disappointed. So you need some heavy heaters. That's why I said Shura, Rasasi Shura, many of you hate it, right? But that, that fragrance lasts, you know, like let me give you another example. These two fragrances right here from Rasasi, not promoting Rasasi, I'm just telling you. La Yuquam and Tobacco Blaze, you, those who tried it, you go and tell others how much they last and project. If they're like beast mode, you need to take a shower to get rid of them. So yes, I suggest that for performers. But then those same people comes up to me, bro, that doesn't smell fresh. Then what to tell them? <laughs> I don't know. Because you're looking for everything in one bottle. I'll spend 10 bucks and I want the best fragrance in the world, right? And that's, that doesn't happen, guys, you know? You have to be a little bit more patient. You have to be a little bit more... Uh, matured than that you know longevity is one thing definitely it's one of the aspects that is pillar of fragrances that you know it has to last and then if it doesn't last get smart get decants get a decant or get a sample or you know reapply in the middle of the day you, you're you're good to go but we alongside longevity it, it's always about for me the fragrance in the end it's always about that feels it's always about the blend you know what makes you like feel like this fragrance is something, it's much more complex. You know, I was watching the other day, uh, one of the reviewers was talking about this one, Joshua, right? He was talking about this in his fall list. I feel so such regret. Why didn't they put this? Why did they pet? Why did they put Perry LSM? Perhaps I was thinking of the people out there, like, uh, I don't want you to spend so much, like, this is expensive. Perry LSM is relatively cheaper. But what a beautiful fragrance. You know, this one is like the least, as he said, Joshua said, this is the least talked about Chanel. And I would agree, and this is from the back in time, you know, it's like for mature men, people who are grown up, they used it. And then you talk about Chanel, Elion Spore, Edition Blanche, O Extreme, Blood of Chanel, those came much later. So this is a beautiful complex fragrance, it has this different, different phases. So performance wise, maybe perhaps it's like a 7 out of 10, but uh, the fragrance is just stunning, you know. And the fragrance I would say, <clears throat> very underrated, Lanstan de Guerlain, Guerlain, I can never say the name. This fragrance right here, it's one of my most orgasmic fragrance. Moment I sniff it on me, on the dry dawn especially. Damn, this fragrance is, this fragrance is so masculine. This is so chocolatey. This is like so, uh, like, you know, woody and stuff like that. And it's just so good. And the, 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 the orange, it smells so nice on this. This is like almost feels like a mature version of Durham Intense to me. They are not really similar, but 
that cacao, the powdery feel. Damn, this fragrance. And even the elder brother of that is the Ledge, the second formulation without the dark edges. They both perform extremely well. So you see, it's they last a long time, but even if they didn't, I would love this fragrance. So to me, it's about the feels. So more and more, you go into the fragrance game, you'll realize it's always about freedom. You do not tell people what to feel. If someone tells like a fragrance sucks, I respect it, no problem. But when the people try to say that, you know, only niche perfumes are the way to go and you you using a cheap fragrance and boo boo, that's just something I, I cannot accept. Uh, Dan Norton just did a video, Are You Tired of Clones? Very awesome video, very sensible way of talking, you know, like he's one of the best reviewers ever. Nowadays, it's always about cynic people, you know, they always want to destroy everything. Like they see a reviewer, they see a nice guy creating something, getting some love, just go and boom, destroy it. And then this whole bunch of 70,000 likes that a video gets or view that video gets about hatred, it's just absolutely pathetic to me. Uh, I believe if you really hate something about some reviewer that what they're doing, and uh, it's a trend, it's, it's a disease really, you know, people nowadays like to talk trash about fragrance reviewers. But are they doing the same exact role or they can? Either they can, they, they, do they have the ability to do, to create those contents that the big reviewers were creating? I think most of the time, no. If you see those people who do this kind of videos, their usual videos are like less than 1,000 views. And those videos are like 70,000, the rest of them, again, no new videos, no new views, no real interest, no one talks about, no one remembers them. So in the middle, you just wasted some people's time, you destroy something nice that was going on, and you just kind of disturb some people who are just minding their own business, right? If someone's making money or getting popular, what's your problem with it? Yeah, you might say, why well, care about the community? Most of you, I don't think you care for the community, you're just there because you're jealous. Yeah, I feel that because there are a few people that do that. In fragrance communities, I left, I walked out from certain groups because there are these fake <clears throat> profiles, you know, they're just all day creating memes, uh, writing stupid nonsense kind of posts, you know. It has nothing to do with fragrances. They just, you know, I see this. I see these common names. I, I'm pretty sure it's created by some reviewers who are just like, I, I just don't talk to them no more. I just walked out of those, those groups. I don't like this negativity. Yes, it's important that you be positive also, but at the same time, you have to make sure that you're not either boring or too predictable or you're trying to be too nice and too commercial and everything is nice. I just want to tackle that last point before I go. That is, um, many of the reviewers overseas, let's say they get 5,000 subscribers, they get, you know, they receive bottles from different sites or companies for them to review. Unfortunately, I live in a country uh, where people would rather take from me, but they'll never do anything. I don't expect people to do anything for me. So I run a little decamp page. I try to, you know, get more bottles for you to see. And I want to actually share, you know, I want you to see my videos. Of course, I want to get views, I want to get loved and stuff. I don't want to lie, but I don't get few free bottles from anybody, okay? And when I buy a fragrance, it's more likely I have done a lot of research. I have done a lot of uh, thinking, going to shops. I tried it, sniffing it, you know, three, four days I spent the transportation to go to a shop. This is the reality for me. Just to think of this fragrance, you know, maybe it, it got sold out later. I couldn't find it later. I, I felt sad. And maybe somewhere I saw it like one bottle, like Arma or something that I really like. I bought it after six months, you know. So in that way, I only buy the things that I really like. When I do have to really blind buy, I have to have that good feeling about it. So yes, I cannot return my bottles. So uh, yes, most of the time when you see it's a positive review because I bought the stuff that I really like. The samples that I bought, sometimes the samples, yes, some of the samples didn't work for me. I said, nah, it didn't work. I don't think it's full bottle worthy. But most of the time when I buy a bottle, <coughs> excuse me, you'll see it's a positive review because I love my friend. I like to be positive and I like to be honest as well. Um, but I will never lie about longevity as as far as I got. Okay, Bangladesh, if you get performance from a fragrance, you get that performance anywhere in the world, 10 times more, trust me, <laughs> right? So anyway, just a few things I want to discuss. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, you know. Uh, thanks for all the positive comments and joining my group, Fragcom Bangladesh. You are still welcome to join. I put the link below uh, to join us and we talk fragrance. I just want to promote positivity. I share people's reviews because I feel if you give, you lose nothing. You know, if you give, you get more, okay? So this is what I believe. I want to be a good person. I'm not all a good person, okay? I'm sometimes negative, I anger, blah, blah, whatever. We all have our weaknesses, but let's promote positivity. Let's do something good. In that way, in the, in the end, in the end, we're gonna be really happy. Happiness matters, right? So take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. And uh, 
take care enjoy my group recon bangladesh uh, we'll chit chat there have a nice day bye bye